possible. So let's start off with some tips. So there's sort of three rules of thumb with health in human, and it's important that we build a foundation from the start. So here are like three sort of guidelines that can help you because the structure for health in human is a bit weird. It's very wordy. So if you're sort of like English, you might sort of like the way that you structure answers in this subject. It's not quite as um, like sciencey as PE or bio or anything like that but it is very wordy. Um, so first of all, linking. There's a lot of linking in this subject. We link everything together, like examples, different topics, different areas of study, so much linking. Um, so user, we should be utilizing a cause and effect structure in our answers to ensure all our links are in place. So your marks within a response will be more often than not linked together um, with therefore or this causes or this positively slash negatively impacts. So it's always sort of something happening which has an effect. So cause and effect um, with most questions and answers. And we're always sort of using examples and linking different concepts together, um, which gives us this cause and effect structure. Um, the second tip is to be specific. So this is why it's really important if you want to stand out in Health and Human, you can't sort of just know a brief overview of all the content. You want to sort of know specific examples for everything. To so think of your answer as a funnel, you start with many possibilities, but it should ultimately be centered around a very specific example relevant to the question. So you want to sort of have these specific examples that show you really know what you're talking about and that you really know the content that are really specific and like shows a example in real life of what you're talking about, not just sort of giving the definition of something. You want to be a bit more specific and give more detail than that. So you're doing it right if you have loads of e.g and such as and ex for examples. So there's lots of examples in health, a lot of marks um like if there's a three mark question sometimes the one mark will be an example um there's just a lot of giving examples for the topics that you're talking about when answering a question also don't be definitive so this isn't really talking about like giving definitions this is more about how you answer a question so health and human is very like in society how things work in the world the health of the world so you don't really want to talk about this will happen this impacts this is going to do this because everything is sort of up in the air we're not 100 percent sure about everything so try and use words such as may or is likely or may impact things like that rather than this will happen um, this is going to cause this because we're not 100 percent sure so you can't always assume that something will happen we've kind of got to keep it very brief and broad with like the impact something might have 